some of the gray geese in with it, and my one Pekin duck. Um, they, they definitely like to herd up quite a bit, though. Normally they're not this tight. They usually will uh, spread out about four times the area, but they generally stay close together. Um, they, they love eating that new grass. So kind of as you're seeing now, a couple of them are eating some grass. That's, that's what they like to do. And uh, there's definitely a little territorial battle there. So, uh, just kind of giving a picture of how the geese are. I know I had a tough time finding when I was looking for the American buffs. Much about them, much about their uh, habits, how they went. Now, I've got one goose there, it's kind of the front one to the, or towards the back there of them. He's got that extra skin that forms under the bill. I guess that's a somewhat common ailment for them. The other one that I've got is what looks like a broken wing. It's just the, the wing tips kind of flip back, and I guess that's another very common ailment for them. You can kind of see him now. But he's one of my males. And, uh, I trim all that feathers way back. upside down so when the wing grows it's that way. Keep watching. See he's he's the one standing out there at night. You can see that by that guy. But it really doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't seem to bother him in the least. So that's just how it goes with them I guess. They're going through my fruit trees now. They love it when they get an apple that drops or if they can pick one off. That's some of their favorite food. So for next year when I'm trying to harvest, I definitely will need to take fence them out of the different territories that I don't want them picking fruit. But generally I don't mind because they don't fly. Chickens and guineas actually get up in the trees and they peck holes in it and they eat the apples from up there. These guys only reach what they can reach from the ground. We'll do a little bit more and then I'm going to call it good, I think, for, for this. They are very much creatures of habit. They really get used to, like my farm, the comings and goings of it, and they sound off if something's not right. I have heard that they're a good watchdog, and, and I can attest to that as well. They will, they will sound off if, if something isn't to their liking. And uh, like, just like with me, I'm uh, probably 15 foot from this closest one here, and about 25 foot, but they have no problem with me, and my dog's right beside me. They're, they're watching me. They, they know that I normally don't stand out in the middle here by them, but let's see as I get a little bit closer. that one eating. He's eating some crabgrass uh, seedlings on the top. They just love the, the seed heads and then they love that fresh grass. You'll see them turn their head sideways and chew off that grass. But they really love it after, just after I mow and that grass is just coming back. They just love that new fresh growth. At this height they don't mind it too much, but once the grass starts getting long or in the ditch or anything like that, they, they, they don't like that near as much. Here's my dog Jake, English Shepherd. So. Like I say, he, he generally leaves them alone and uh, they don't mind him too much, but if he gets too close, there he goes. Back. 